something which I have to continuously do. Particularly this behavior work and participation in larger order has to be done all in it. This work of understanding can be completed. But then ensuring this and then this is something which we have to continue doing. Right? Then, in the meantime, because we have accumulated so much of this garbage here, okay, in the form of sanskar, okay, you have to do something to take care of it, right? And that is, be aware of your desire, thought, expectations, right? Be aware of them, whatever is going on, right? Every moment. This is important, right? So this awareness is required. And you can see, interestingly enough, you are not even aware of yourself, right? Leave it on the desire, thought and expectations. Right? You are not aware that you are there. Right? It says that. Now at least you are aware that you are there. <laughs> <laughs> then, if you start paying attention, you can also become aware of your desire, thought and expectations. Right? So you have to become aware of your desire, thought and expectation every moment. Okay? And then you evaluate them, right? Please evaluate. Evaluate them, whether, right? on the basis of your natural acceptance, right? Or on the basis of your realization and understanding, right? Things we have to keep doing, right? So if it is in accordance with our natural acceptance, it is right. Otherwise, it is not right. If it is in accordance with our realization and understanding, <coughs> it is right. Otherwise, it is not right. This evaluation has to be done. This two and three. Okay. This has to be done continuously. This two and three has to be done till we get rid of our, you know, previous accumulation. Right. Your generated self, your garbage, right? So till then, this two and three is required. But one will be required continuously. You have to do it continuously for yourself, then you have to pass on to the next generation, right? So these three things, you know, <coughs> have to keep going. <coughs> so now you can see that your task has become quite difficult because you have to become aware of yourself every moment, right? And you are not used to it at all. Every one minute you take off, right? <laughs> <laughs> so you don't know what is happening. Now you are saying you have to be aware of yourself every moment. Why? Because so much of it is exhibited there that any moment you are not aware, some input may come from outside. Right? He takes one of these, you know, accumulated sanskar. Right? and make you act in a manner which you did not want to act. 
Then you say, I didn't want to do it, you know, somehow it happened. But what is this somehow? This <laughs> 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 somehow is sitting there with me, right? <laughs> so you have to be aware of it. And you have to be aware of it every moment. Very watchful. Very alert. <coughs> So that kind of acute awareness is required, right? Acute alertness is required every moment. Right? And you can see if you do this, <coughs> anything which happens in you, okay? <coughs> you just see through. Any trace of a desire which goes through, you are able to see it and you are able to evaluate it. Right? You will be able to see whether this desire is in accordance with the coexistence, accordance with the harmony, accordance with my natural acceptance, or it is against it. You will also be able to see that if this desire is in accordance with the coexistence, right, it leads to happiness. If it is against this coexistence, against this harmony, right, against my natural acceptance, it leads to unhappiness. So slowly you will be able to see every trace of this desire and every trace of your happiness and unhappiness. Right? So that kind of awareness, that kind of acute awareness is required. You know, awareness of your own self every moment. Right? And again this, you know, what we are doing today is that we don't have this anyway, right? We are not aware of this. We are not aware of even the behavior and work which is coming out of us, right? We are not aware of the impact of this on the other, right? Only when that impact is very negative and goes on accumulating for a long time, right? and the other starts throwing a plate on you, <coughs> Then you realize that something has happened. <laughs> that is what is happening in the family, right? When the wife starts shouting, you know, throwing plates at you, then you realize that something must have gone wrong. There also is generally think that something must have gone wrong with the wife. <laughs> <laughs> but now, we can see what we need to do is to first ensure this. Then ensure that anything happening here is in accordance with this. Then, you know, be aware that anything that is coming out as behavior and work is in accordance with this, is in accordance with this. Right? Then we have to make sure that any behavior and work which are performed is leading to mutual happiness, mutual prosperity. <coughs> That much of responsibility is there with each one of us. <coughs> Only when we live with that acute awareness, that sense of responsibility, that it is fulfilling for us and it is also fulfilling for the other. That, that is what leads to mutual happiness, mutual prosperity. That is what we have been talking about, right? All this, this case. So think over it, reflect, right? If any question is there, we'll take it up tomorrow. I think, you know, I will leave this to sit, you know, inside you, settle inside you, okay? So I will take up the questions now, okay? Let it step in, you know, reflect over it. I only have one question. So, yeah. <laughs> so let it sit down into you. Reflect over it. If there are any questions, we'll take it up tomorrow. Because I think this is the essence of all that we have discussed till now. So let it go down yourself. Do this at your evaluation. Reflect over it. If there is any question, thank you.